This deck is dedicated to the blessed babes who will use it in a purposeful power to create and live lives that they love. It is for the indigo children, grown now into cosmically conscious adults, attempting to add beauty to this world through their own gifts and graces. It is for the spiritual rebels and the modern mystics trying to make sense of the world through their intuitive senses and creative energy. It is for the dreamers, schemers, doers, and trailblazers seeking the guiding light of the universe to find their way to their destiny. It is for you. Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to take a quick look at the Mystic Rebel Oracle deck. This is not your mother's angel cards, it is said. This is a deck that was created by a Zoe Greco. She goes by the moniker Mare Hipsy, which is a co combination of mermaid and hipster, I suppose. And she created this beautiful oracle deck. I saw it and follow her on Instagram and decided I was going to delve in. So, I the deck. I ordered the deck. I received it several months ago. That's the back of the deck. This is the guidebook. You look at that while I read the back of the book box. Um, it says here, the Mystic Rebel Oracle deck is intended to help the conscious creators and the wild women of this world tap more deeply into their intuitive gifts. For beginners or advanced prophetesses alike, the cards provide you with a tool to experience a connected dialogue directly with your guides and receive the answers your heart seeks to know. Be warned though, these ain't your mama's angel cards. This deck is for those next-gen mystics with rebel souls who are ready to unleash their inner enchantress. Though the featured custom digital collages are pretty badass, each of the 46 cards holds messages tenderly relayed with love from your angels and spirit guides to help you discover and claim your most blessed and abundant life. This deck also features divinely channeled affirmations to move you through indecision into action toward your greatest good. You are intuitive, babe, and this deck is here to help you develop your divination skills so that you can clearly hear, receive, and act upon the divine guidance and love available to you in every moment. Digital collage art is by Rachel Day and the box and booklet designed by Rachel Day. So let's take a look, shall we? So here's the guidebook. I'll show you the back of the cards. The guidebook. Um, let's see. Has a total of 60 pages. Looks like each card may have a page dedicated to it. Um, it actually has a, quite a few spreads. Instructions on how to use the deck. How does the deck work? It really is about tapping into your intuition and connected with that source outside of yourself. Um, shuffle the cards as you focus on your question. Ask your question or set an intention. Observe the cards you pull. Check the booklet for more information. Believe what you hear, see, and feel. Hmm. And I love what she says here. Believe what you hear, see, and feel. The last step is to simply believe that what you have been told was truly meant for you. When you do, you can act upon it with direct purpose and empowered action. That is how to start a meaningful stream of communication with your guides and how to grow your intuitive powers, all the while changing your life according to the guidance of your angels. How freaking cool is that, y'all? It says that in the book. Um, and there are actually spreads. Though you do not have to pull cards and lay them out in specific spreads, using layouts is super helpful for getting clear feedback on your questions and intentions. 
This can be especially useful to you newer readers and blossoming intuitive honeys out there. Here are some classic card spreads. So of course we'd have uh, your daily guidance, yes or no, personal development spread, hmm, pass, what have I learned, what am I learning, hmm, that might be interesting, or how am I growing, what can I expect as I move forward on my journey, um, what your guides want you to know, then we have a manifestation spread. Mm. Patience and perspective. And what the hell is going on? Wow. What the heck is going on spread there? And then unblocking abundance. And then we have a yearly spread with the different themes for each month of the year. I might have give that a try. Of course, how to cleanse your deck. Sage, Palo Santo, crystals, blah, blah, blah. And then you have the card descriptions. So, all right, the back of the cards This is what the deck looks like. It's got that pretty silver gilding. The cards are glossy. But they're not picking up too badly here now. Okay, let's take a look. So these are cards... Um, I guess you could say it's kind of like an affirmation deck. Be your most authentic self. Change direction. I'm going to make this a little bigger so I can see it. Oh, that looks good. This is, ooh, compassion and unconditional love. It's got that weird, funky writing there. Um, what is, there's a deck that's similar to that. Okay, I'm myself out. Connect to confidence. I like that. Oh my gosh. Free Express. Oh boy. Well, the cards aren't numbered. They're in alphabetical order in the book. Detach and move on. Divine timing. Endless abundance. Expand your perspective. Follow what makes you happy. Forgiveness. Free will. Have faith. Inspired idea. Joy. Hmm. Life purpose. Listen. Mm. Move through fear. Mm. 
new beginnings and opportunities, new love. No. <laughs> Patience and stillness. Raise your vibe. Relationships. Release and surrender. Resolution and healing. Return to nature. Hmm. I can't tell what that says. I don't have a book. Let's see, after return to nature, I'm going to look in the. Thank God. Let's see? It's alphabetical. Thank goodness. I'm going to have to get familiar with that. Seek within? Oh my goodness. I never would have known that that said that at all. I'm going to have to put that one aside. I would never... Seek within, huh? Okay. Where's the other one? that I had a question about. Let's see. Return to nature. Um, probably should have pulled it at this one. Which is before connect to confidence. This one. What does that say? Confidence. Create and express. Oh boy. Okay. Um, I'm not digging the font on this. It's too squishy. It's too. Mm, okay. Let me mark in my book. In the book, those two cards. Create and express. And the other one was Seek Within. I never would have guessed that at all. I might have to do some altering myself. Okay, let's continue on, shall we? Put those aside. Self-care and integration. Self-reliance. Here's another one. Okay, this is serenity. Kind of, sort of. Speak your truth. Stand your ground. Study and learning. Talk to your guides. Transformation. Trust your intuition. Unseen blessing. Use your personal power.
visualize, affirm, and manifest. Worry not. Worthiness and receptivity. Yes. You're on the right path. And you are supported. Okay. Let's see. Let's get a message. Wonder how they shuffle. Speak your truth. I guess in a way that's what I just did when I'm talking about these cards, huh? Let's see. Speak your truth. Let's see what she says here for that. It's pretty much obvious. Speak your truth. This card comes to you with a message that you need to heed. You have something that you need to speak out. It's time to speak your truth with love and release a burden you've been carrying. Don't ever feel afraid to express what is inside of you, babe. Remove the filter through which you're regulating your words and ask your guys to be by your side as you navigate the repercussions and responses you face from sharing your truth. It is so much more important for you to be at peace with yourself and maintain integrity than it is to gain the approval of others. Ask yourself why you are subduing your brilliant truth and keeping yourself quiet. Who are you trying to protect and keep comfortable? It's time to let others know what you truly feel and think. Similarly, if you're not being honest with yourself, now is the time to come clean. Trust in the fact that you will feel better and your new declarations will be heard by spirit like strong, clear affirmations. And your affirmation is, I confidently and lovingly speak my truth. My guides are with me in every moment, helping me to express myself with clarity and courage. My words are well received and I am truly heard by others. So, those of you who have to work on your throat chakras, do so with intention and purpose. Do not be afraid to speak up. Say what you need to say. You will be heard. You will be honored. You will res be respected. If you've ever been in a place where you felt like Oh, I don't know. Maybe you might have been misunderstood or you don't feel like you will be heard. Perhaps this is the year for you to uh, dive into that. 
part of yourself and seek your audience and open up so with that I am complete thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys in my next video until then stay blessed